Hi right, guys, little video here to show you. Um, a very interesting video this. Now I've actually been repairing electronic things for more than 40 years and I've never ever had this fault before. So I thought it's worth a mention on YouTube. So okay, a guy brings in a CD player and he said um, the complaint was when he switches it on, the fuse in the socket on the CD player is blowing as soon as you turn it on. Now the only thing connected to this socket um, is actually the mains transformer. So naturally, you'd assume the mains transformer has shorter turns on the primary. Um, but that was not so. So um, I'll just set up and I'll show you. Right, so here we go. Um, I've actually um, connected that the socket to the mains. Um, instead of a fuse, um, I've put um, um, a 100 watt light bulb in. Uh, just to uh, give you a demonstration. So luckily, I didn't just rush in. And order a new transformer this is one out of something else um, so I've disconnected the transformer from the secondary and guess what the bulb still lights up so here's a demonstration uh, it's plugged in bulb across the fuse hold I'll turn it on see what happens and the bulbs lit up um, now there's nothing actually connected to that socket but it lights the bulb up um, so obviously something inside this socket um, has actually gone short circuit now if you look on the top there um, I've redrawn it on a piece of paper but it's not just a mains input socket with a switch and a fuse it's actually a filter socket um, mains input filter so there I've drawn a diagram of it what it says on the top and the chances are um, it's this class X2 capacitor connected between live and neutral that's actually shorted out which really shouldn't happen with a class X2 um, but that's obviously the problem um, that internal capacitor so just to give you a demonstration I've ordered a brand new one um, we've still got this one plugged in so I'll turn it on there's nothing connected to it and the bulb lights up right I've got the new one connected I've done exactly the same test nothing to the output bulb across the um, fuse um, turn on the mains here and you can see the bulb doesn't light up so obviously this socket um, has got it's almost certainly that capacitor is shorted internally but I've never ever seen that in my life before where one of these sockets is actually the cause of the fuse blowing alright guys thanks for watching and um, subscribe to my channel for some more interesting videos